is Bob Poole? Honestly, I'd never heard the name myself before being attacked on the street by three masked assailants, beaten with truncheons, thrown into the back of a windowless white van, driven approximately three and a half hours up her bumpy, winding roads, and thrown into a holding cell here in the basement of Poole Manor. Apparently lapsed into unconsciousness. When I awoke, there was a bright light shining in my eyes, and again, somebody asked, Who is Bob Poole? And I answered, I think he's the invisible protagonist of Atlas Shrugged. Apparently that wasn't correct. So now I'm supposed to hear from people who know Bob. Who is Bob Poole? I guess we're going to find out. Who is Bob Poole? Bob Poole is like that cool uncle that you want to sit next to at the Thanksgiving table who tells interesting stories and, you know, just generally makes you want to laugh and be a better person. This is unlike that uncle that, well, is just kind of there and steals your dinner rolls. Bob, save me a seat. I don't want to sit by Tom this year. Who is Bob Poole? Is he an international man of mystery? Is he a spy? Nah. He's just a really nice guy who will help you learn how to sell without being obnoxious. Listen to him. Do you know who Bob Poole is? No, not even know who he is. Come and stop me if you can, Bob Poole. Now old Bob Poole, he's a smooth operator. He says, listen first, then you can sell later. He wrote it all down in a very nice book. While you're here on the website, you might as well have a look. I don't know. You don't have a clue? No. Bob is a velociraptor crafted out of cheese. Bob is a deluxe croissant that brings you to your knees. Bob's an artist, linchpin, salesman, maven, and creator. Bob's the one who wrote the book, Listen First, Sell Later. I got nothing to say about Bob Poole. I don't know Bob Poole. I don't want to know Bob Poole. I don't like the name Bob Poole. Bob Poole is kind and generous. Bob Poole knows his shit. Bob Poole is intelligent but but not just intelligent he is street smart in a certain way he sees how things fit together and he sees how people connect with one another he is always he's always there he's always warm-hearted and friendly he's a really great guy to have around that's why i like bob there's no i in bob pool Okay, so Bob Poole is a velociraptor, and he likes rabbits, and he's Charlie Gilkey's uncle. Uh, oh, and Megan says he knows his shit. She mean like I know you? There once was a man named Poole who developed a wonderful rule. He said, listen quite well before trying to sell. Then you won't ever look like a fool. Bob Poole, um... I know the name. Let me think. Um, didn't he discover something? Maybe he was somebody I learned about in grade school in a science book. I don't know. Who is Bob Poole, Michael? Papa. Bob Poole. Bob Poole is both a question and an answer. He's an enigma, but yet an open book. He's both a savory appetizer and an 11-course meal. Bob is obviously a state of mind, but he's also a person who minds his states. If I had to compare him to a mathematical figure, I'd say he's a parallelogram, which is much more useful than a telegram. As you can see, Bob is obviously deep, but that is the nature of a pool. Bob Poole doesn't do push-ups. Bob Poole pushes the world down. Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god, you really don't know who Bob Poole is. Well, if I tell you, if I ever get in trouble, the first thing I say is, what would Bob do? And the person that's at the top of my speed dial when I want sage advice from a wise old bird is Bob Poole. But look, you didn't hear it from me, okay? Mum's a word. Shh, I'm out of here. Hmm, interesting. 
So Bob is an enigma, a puzzle wrapped inside of a paradox, wrapped inside of a delicious, flaky pastry crust. Or actually, when you think about it, he's really not enigmatic at all. The notion of him being enigmatic is really kind of ridiculous. I mean, there were just like 10 videos explaining exactly who Bob is. Enigmatic, give me a break. So now we know the answer to the question, who is Bob Poole, right? Well, here's really the question that I would like the answer to is, when am I gonna get paid, Bob? Like for real this time, when am I gonna get paid? And let's talk about that belt sander that you borrowed like a, a while ago. And while we're at it, why does your dog keep shitting on my lawn, Bob? You know what, as a matter of fact, um, if we're done here, then I'm just gonna take a cue from the English guy and I'm just gonna go. So just send me my check and um, yeah, so.